Hello, everybody. Fush, Roboto, uh, Seb, Zitch, how you doing? Short Snee, mostly, or mostly, moisty liquid. EFR, what's going on? I am, how you doing? Geo, what's going on, dude? Hydrate, Kilo, thank you, I appreciate it. Pear, how are you doing this fine Friday night? I'm doing okay. This fine Friday, I am doing pretty good. I went to my um, sleep study thingy. So I did the follow up. Nimbus. Thank you, dude. Stream time. Whoop, whoop. I'm currently making my Fortnite username nim 6 usotos To me. <laughs> nice, dude. I like that. Do it, dude. Uh, Seabass, thank you so much for the four months, and same, same with you, Nimbus. I appreciate that, man. Happy Friday, Alex, and chat. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Happy Friday. I'm kind of glad it's Friday. Tomorrow, I'm probably still going to be working on stuff, but I feel like less stress on the weekends. You know what I mean? I kind of low-key want to go out. I'm going to pick up new boots tomorrow. I don't have any, like, the boots I have currently, I got a while ago, and they're kind of tight. You know what I mean? Country Tuss, thank you so much for the Prime. I appreciate the love and support here, dude. That Sonnet, dude, I've been loving this Sonnet. I don't care what anyone says, it's amazing. It is probably the um, most go-to keyboard I have at this current time. The boots with the fur. <laughs> dude, I just, need new, I just need like a nice pair, bro. Every time I join stream, I see a Sonnet at your desk. It's just so nice. I love it. Sonnet's one of my favorite keyboards right now. Friend lending me his key call? Damn, what a nice friend. The whole club was looking at her. Damn, bro. The throwbacks. I hate my sonnet because it's so good it makes me less likely to use the other boards. Actually, kind of true though. We're gonna put, we're gonna build the sonnet. This is for um, Flinty. He won the prize for this, guys. So just as a little fill in the gaps type thing of what's actually going on today. Flinty won this giveaway. Um, we're gonna build up this sonnet for him. We're gonna put some cool, you know, switches on it. Now I'm gonna put some keycaps on it to demo, but I don't have any keycaps. Actually, I can double check if I have something to give Flinty as well. But uh, should be pretty fun, man. Today's gonna be like a, a giveaway thing. Plus, we'll have a giveaway sometime during the stream for either a Tofu 60 or a Tofu 65. They sent me one of each, and then I'll let you guys decide which one we actually want to give away. So I'll do the build for that, and then we'll just send that over to the winner. Uh, we'll do that at the end of the stream, though. Or maybe the middle, who knows? Who knows? The V2's correct, Nimbus. Fried, thank you so much, Alex, dude. I have been low on forehead kisses lately, BB. Bro, I got you with one. There you go. Big old forehead kiss for you. Love my Sonnet, such a great board for the price. Actually, really, really is. I love my Sonnet too, man. Uh, I thought we had discussed how we're gonna help me resist buying a Sonnet. This is not helping. It's my bad, man. Totally forgot about that. Uh, what's my preference on mounting the Sonnet? I'm actually good with either. I think at first I was all ISO top. I think I might lean ISO top, but I don't mind a stacked mount as well. Just not using the silicone. Uh, I actually use a piece of foam for the stacked mount. So kind of what I prefer. It's kind of like a hack, kind of. Uncool, thank you, man. I appreciate Here's it, dude. To sweeten the deal. Bro, Perfect. that's crazy. But we're gonna top it off with, let me show you guys the keycaps we'll be using today. PE foam underneath W. I've been seeing more and more people use that combo, bro. It's actually wild. We'll be topping it off with this today. Oh, that didn't really do a great job of showing you guys. This is the new set from, one of the new sets from Novel Keys. And, okay, I hate to play favorites, but I absolutely have been wanting like a cool colorway with some orange in it. And this is really up my alley for colors. I had issues with spacebar returns on my Sonnet and stack mount, really? Bro, there is a... There's, love the hair. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just put it back today. It's too long, I need to like cut it. You're putting industrial on it too? Now I'm, <laughs> sorry dude. Uh, Eloa, thank you so much for the Prime for six months. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, dude. I hope you're having a good one today. Put this the side for the time being. I had someone message me today. 
asking um, if it's possible to fix a warped spacebar after they tried to fix it already. And I was like, what do you mean by this? Um, so basically they asked and they were inquiring. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I asked if it was okay to share this. I, ha I had a bit of a chuckle. They uh, tried to fix a warp space bar and apparently they put it in boiling water um, and they weren't sure how long to put it in. Uh, they didn't send me a picture. I did ask for one um, and I hope they will. If they do send one, I will, I will, link, I will link you guys and show you. But uh, they told me that it was basically like really badly warped now because they left it in there too long. And when they tried to take it out, it just like flopped kind of. <laughs> I don't know why it was so funny, man. But I asked them to send a picture um, and they said they will when they have a chance. Uh, and I asked if it was okay if I spoke about this on stream. But they said, yeah, it's kind of funny, but it's kind of sad. <laughs> dude, you guys got to be careful when you do that stuff, man. You guys got to be careful, dude. We're gonna use some pink robins tonight. I actually don't mind these switches. I love me an al dente space bar. What kind of pasta are you guys into? What's your favorite? What's the best way to have it? Rip spaghetti space bar. You know, spaghetti's like low on my food chain of pastas. I think it's, okay, this actually, I don't know, does this count? I don't know how I don't know this. Don't hate me for asking. Is gnocchi considered a pasta or no? I don't think so, right? Is it? Kind of, but not really. It is, it is considered one? Because if so, that's my favorite. I don't know if it is. I, you know, I've never thought about this. Same dough? If Insty says it is, it is. Anything is pasta if it tastes good. <laughs> Pizza pasta. Get it. Right now. Gnocchi is pasta for sure. It's it's my favorite. Just a little bit of butter or even pesto with that goes so well. Alright, I actually want to open up this guy first. Also, I'm almost done walking dead now. And I'm unsure how I feel about this last season. It was getting good, but now it's just getting kind of stupid. Phantom, thank you so much for the prime, dude. Hi, thank Alex you guys for the hype train as well. Day so far. So far, so good. So far, so good. Ooh. Uh, I might pick up a copper bottom for myself if this ends up, I mean, I think this is gonna look good. Yeah, this is already looks really nice with the copper bottom. Oh man, I haven't seen the copper bottom in person. This is the first time I'm seeing it. Mango, thank you guys. Thank you guys again for the subs. I really do appreciate the hype train guys. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice actually. It has a nicer weight to it. It feels really premium. See, dude, okay, I can, I think I saw Nathan build this. If it was up to me, obviously everyone's different. I would actually swap out my silver is always for this, choice. perhaps. Smile. Artemis, thank you so much. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, dude. Navy plus copper is pretty nice, though, I have to admit. It is. Okay, let's put the feet on before we do anything today. Damn, that actually looks really good. I don't know what internal weight Flinty got. I can't remember. So we'll have to open it all up. I'm not sure, actually. I don't really remember all the stuff Flinty got. It's been a, I mean, it's been a hot minute since I looked at all the stuff that he picked. Green copper was classy as fuck, yes. Sorry to backtrack, but gnocchi isn't a pasta, it's a dumpling. Interesting. Where are, you, where are we getting this information? Is there an official forum for this? Is there an official, like, discourse? that people have debated on already. It is potato dough. Just at chat PBT. <laughs> Dude, I was having so much fun making keyboard poems with that yesterday. Um, you do know this sport is just begging for cherry copper. I unfortunately don't have that set though. Industrial keys should look really nice in it though. 
Interesting. R pasta kek w. Just yeah. put the screenshot of my new username in games channel on Discord to prove it, Lamal. Also, would I like to hear my major mess up story, Lamal? I want to hear your mess major mess up story. I am totally down for that. Uh, heaviest configuration, all brass slash copper options is seven and a half pounds. That's kind of kind of cool though. I, I love mode stuff, man. Gotta admit, I have become uh, one of their biggest fans. It's an expensive board with cheap switches, bad idea. No, because, okay, I don't know if anyone's out there like telling you, Victor, that you should go expensive board, expensive switches or not. To, dude, some of the cheap switches are actually like the most top tier. Like they're the absolute most top tier. Don't listen. If anyone's giving you like false information or misinformation on that shit, ignore them. Expensive doesn't equal good in the switch department, nor does it really matter in the keyboard department either, but just so you're aware. I'm a dump for mode. <laughs> huh? Got a little PCB action. Got this mount, which I don't know if we're gonna do. And then here's the accent plus weight. I don't know what Funky picked. Uh, mode makes classy boards. Agreed. Actually agreed. Oh, full copper, baby. There's so much copper. Okay. This is gonna be a sweet build today. Nimbus, so I sent a picture of my desk so setup in the front. I sent a picture my of my desk set up to my friends and I uh, forgot <laughs> to put my jar of Crytox away. Now I have no friends. Did they actually judge you for it or something? Actually, that reminds me of a story one time. Listen, first of all, no hate, all right? No hate, it's just a funny situation to be in. I once had a friend who was showing us his, this is, this, I'm talking, this is like a long time ago though. He was showing us his setup and um, different situation though. It was, we were younger, he was on the phone with us and he was showing us like via video camera and his dad came in the room and he was trying to show us like all the cool things he got in his room, right? So he put down the, the phone and I think he thought he turned it off and his dad was talking to him and then his dad gets really loud and he was like, son, what is all this tissue and uh, lotion that you have on the desk? And I think for almost three or four years, we never let that go. We like, we never in our entire friendship let that go. Uh, until I think we all start to drift apart but just because, you know, time and doing other stuff. But the fact that his dad said that and it was just like calm and, you know, it was just like, I don't know, it was so random, man. It's just, it's one of those things, man, that just, that's going to haunt you for a while. I'm told that, uh, Tim told us that story in confidence. Yeah, Bree's like, what are you doing, dude? Uh, son, are you winning? Oh, never mind. At least clean it up afterwards. That's a lot of extra work, to be completely fair. All right, let's do the stabilizers. Actually, I don't know if this hot swap PCB, Alex, oh gosh. Soren, what I do? Don't clean it up, keep it, okay. Okay, Tim's a bad influence. Yep. Tim is literally the worst. Uh, I'm safe. My desk is white. Okay, I'm cool, dude. I guess let's do 7.0. Oh, actually, does the plate support both too? Is this carbon fiber? Polycarbon? What is this? Carbon fiber. I think this is carbon fiber. Uh, these are pink robin switches. They've been touched up a little bit. These are not stock. I've had these for a little while and I was like, you know what? I was gonna use some Wu Chase switches because they felt pretty good and I know how they sound in a sonnet, but I was like, I could just use these. Pink robins are still very good stock. I've, these have just been like, these were like sample 
that I feel like weren't as good as some of the other ones that I, I got. Oh, this is carbon fiber. Does this support both? Um, I can never remember if it does. It does. Okay. Perfecto. All right, let's do our stabilizers and then we'll get to this part. Have you ever used a PP plate before? I have. I love the name of that plate, by the way. Uh, polypropylene's okay. I, I still don't really understand why people go crazy for it. It feels very similar to Palm. So. Stabilizer kit. I don't think I've ever seen this stuff in the stab kit before from Mode. I don't know what this is. I guess this is for like, Holy Mod. Polypropylene's okay. Honestly, I still don't get the huge obsession with it. It's all right, it's nothing special. Uh, hi, one year ago I saw your VOD on the Swift 65, now I have it, time flies. Dude, it's actually crazy how fast everything goes. The world's moving so quickly lately, man. It is kind of scary in a lot of ways too. Tupperware plate. <laughs> Tupperware plate. Like today, guys, I was, man, I don't know why. Today I was kind of feeling like a little bit drained, like, I think the week caught up with me. I did quickly stop by to go get my results of my sleep test, by the way. I have mild sleep apnea. So, you know, in a way, it was kind of a relief to hear that. You know what I mean? So I have to get a CPAP machine. But, uh, interesting. Yeah, I had a sleep test, so a sleep study. So again, kind of relieving in a way to hear that. Cause now I feel like I can take some steps to correct it. You know what I mean? Uh, I had severe sleep apnea. Gotta get fitted on Feb 1 for my CPAP. Oh, that's gonna be, I mean, that should be a huge relief for you, no? Cause I was uh, talking to the, uh, the doctor and he said that uh, normal, well, what's considered like high normal or in the norm or in the okay rather is like a level of, or I guess five, but I was like at six and a bit, I think. <laughs> it's a life improvement doing that test. I've heard some people get like, so everyone who has severe apnea, apparently once they get their CPAP machine, it's like hugely different, dude. Uh, someone dropping major money on a Sonnet. This config, how much does this config end up costing? All right, we're gonna do the stabs picture perfect. 600 plus, damn boy. That is an expensive sonnet. This is from our prize winner from uh, the mode giveaway we did on Twitter a while ago. Honestly, Honor with Navy would look nice too. I think so. You know, I'm not gonna lie though. Honor in the green is like a surprisingly nice combination of colors. I am not gonna lie. I really like it. Oak, rebuilding our pantry? That sounds actually like a fun uh, fun task to do. I sleep well, my body isn't dependent on weed to stay asleep. Wait, what happened? I sleep well, my body isn't dependent on weed to stay asleep. Oh, does it make you sleepy? I've never tried any drugs in my entire life, so I don't know. I saw the Insta, I get it. It's a nice combo, man. I still wish uh, someone would do, would, uh, would know Navy with, with Oak accent. What would happen with Navy and the Oak? I can Photoshop it later for you guys. I can just move the Oak accent to the Navy. GMK nines would also fit this well. I don't have GMK nines. Dude, there's so many GMK sets that I still kind of want. I still have yet to pull the trigger on Civilization because I'm still unsure if I want it. Every time I look at it, I'm like, I want this, but it's expensive. 
Um, would you be open to commission build if it included black cherry pie switches? Yeah. Um, the only thing I ask is just provide all the stuff. Like if you don't want to assemble them yourself, just provide me with all the stuff and I can, I can do that and give you a price. Franken switches do cost a little bit more because they are a different, uh, what's it called? Assembly process. So, uh, so many GMK sets in stock right now. Kind of nice. It is, dude. It honestly is. I had sleep apnea and chronic migraines for years. I have sinus surgery and it was life stage. So what, what? I hate asking. They did offer me surgery, by the way, guys. They said that they can do some surgery, but it would be like a month plus healing time and I wouldn't be able to stream because I wouldn't be able to talk. So it's not... It's not that bad to the point where I think I want to do the surgery, so I'm not gonna do it, man. And there's no, it's not a, like a 100% success rate either, so. Jim K. Wobb and Boa Hengel. Airfit P10 nasal pillows. Very minimal. I need to learn all about the CPAP stuff later. That's gonna be my, uh, my task for the next little bit. Cause uh, it's like a whole thing of different things you need to like try on stuff like that. Pre-record some build streams and use chat GPT to pretend they are chat. Dude, that is actually hella smart. No, I'm not gonna do it, man. So you have a month off? No, no. Honestly, I wouldn't even know what to do with myself, man. I can't even find a video game to play. There's nothing I want to. The surgery went, uh, I had went okay, but man, the recovery time was rough. Hundreds of sinus rinses, and worst of all, the surgery was 14 days before my wedding. What? So did it recover in 14 days? Were you okay for your wedding? I don't like the idea of surgery. That's why I won't even do laser eye surgery, man. I'm just like, <laughs> is there a class 80 giveaway still? Um... No, that was given away. Today we're probably gonna be doing a tofu. So it's gonna be mystery color. I'm not gonna give you guys details on it, just it's gonna be either a tofu, we'll do the vote for it later. A tofu 60 V2 or a tofu 65 V2. Full laser LASIK was so worth it. Everyone keeps telling me it's like the move, man. Everybody does. But like, okay, low key though, would you guys, me with no glasses is not the same, man. I can't even read what you guys are saying if you guys are saying shit, but it's not the same. You'd have to look at this face. <laughs> it's not that, put them back on. <laughs> Looking good, thank you, Lance. I appreciate you. You need some sleep? Dude, that's just how my eyes are. I look better with glasses, so I wouldn't even consider surgery. I kind of prefer the glasses look too, man. I'm not gonna lie. It's all about being used to it. Yeah, that too. I guess you do have to adapt to it. Still have the Shelby on my desk. Can't stop loving it, Mr. Alex. Oh, I love that Skull King. I like that it went to a good home. Well, they're haughty alert. What's up, Merker? Merker, how you doing? Uh, glasses is better. Dude, yeah, I feel that. I got new ones coming in too. And he pulled the trigger on some new glasses. Thoughts on the mode tomorrow switches? Um, I have not used, those are the tactile ones, right? I have them, but I haven't used them yet. That's on my to-do list. That's gonna be another switch that I try soonish. All right, this is good. I tried doing a giveaway in the stream you raided yesterday. I got stuck and came in dead last in the marbles game. I have never won a giveaway on anyone's stream for anything. Um, so I don't know what the, I don't know what that feels like. <laughs> uh, my marble always comes like in dead last as well. So the one time it actually came in a decent spot, it was just my own stream. And I said that if I won, that it would not do anything. All right, where is the Dr. Grease? I missed the stream notice. Did I even post one, bro? I don't even know if I did. Um, did I? Where's my 
Discord. Dude, you know what I'm gonna do this weekend? Guys, if you guys have not done, I did, okay. You know what I'm doing this weekend? I am gonna clean up all my Discord servers on my Discord. Dude, it's getting too messy. I keep joining new Discords for keyboard stuff. I'm, it's too messy now, man. I might leave a few that I don't participate in, but there's it's just so chaotic now. I cleaned it this week. How long did it take you, Kaba? Because I feel like it's gonna take me way too long. I am 100% doing that this weekend. Okay, so question. Do you guys want me to give away the, how many servers are you talking? Bro, it's a, it's a lot, man. Before, the, uh, they raised the cap recently, and before that I was sitting at cap all the time. It's too much. Um, do you guys want me to give away this, the Tofu 60 or 65, the V2s? Which one would you guys want me to give away? I don't know if there's any mods in chat right now, but, oh, it looks like, it, actually it's kinda, I feel like it's kinda split. Does a mod wanna run a, a poll? And like I said, it's gonna be mystery color. I'm not gonna tell you guys. I'm not gonna tell you guys what switches we're gonna put in it. We're just gonna build it sometime in the near future. And then I'll uh, I'll give it away. But it's gonna be pretty uh, pretty random when I do it. You just, I'm asking the winner of this to be patient. That's all. Can you give away your car instead? Joke's on you, I don't even drive. That is a huge joke on you moment. I got my wisdom teeth out yesterday. Oh fuck. I can only eat super soft liquid foods and it sucks even worse. Dude, that sucks. I mean, it's for it's a good thing that you got it, right? It's, yeah. I, I've had uh, the option to take them out or leave them in and I just decided to leave them in. I think one of them's like slightly impacted, but. Wait, you got, uh, you get around with the subway? I do, subway or I walk. Dude, walking feels so nice. Today I went on a long walk after the sleep clinic thingy. I just walked, walked all the way home. It was so nice. It was like 30 minutes, but it was fully well worth it. Hydrate. I'm jealous of people that never take their wisdom teeth out. I feel like I should though. Yeah, it really is. I used to walk more often. I want to go back on walks. I want to go on one a day, but I know there's days I get lazy. <clears throat> but it is really good for your health. Okay, let me run a poll for the 60 versus 65 giveaway. Let me do a poll thing here. Um, I go on a walk every day. See, that's really good. Do you even go when like the weather is bad? Today I feel like it, oh, there you go. Someone already did the giveaway. Never mind. Giveaways up. Bleezy Black. So happy to have found you, this dude. community. Got my first board today. The Heracles, any stab recommendations? Ooh. I forgot that was in stock. Um, Heracles, any stab will work. Honestly, probably, I would probably just use cherry clippings or just Duroc stabs is fine too. Uh, Owl stabs is great. I've heard Gatoron stabs are fantastic. Any stab's good. I think I would just stip, uh, skip on TX stabs. That's all. It's nice having my wisdom teeth out. Now I can hide extra beef jerky in there. Oh my God, that sounds gross. You know, I don't think I've ever had beef jerky. And if I have, it was probably when I was really young. Don't judge me though. Karan, how you doing? What plate are you using in your personal sonnet? I am using, and this one, I think this is an aluminum plate in this one here. But thank you again, Bleezy, I appreciate that, man. Um, I'm glad everyone's in this community with us, man. I'm, I'm super glad. It's so much fun being here with you guys. All right, let's put this all together here. I'm looking for a long pole clacky linear. Are you comfortable with lubing your own stabs or did you want a pre-lubed stab, or um, not stabs, but switches? Or did you want a pre-lubed switch? There's a lot of good options for pre-lubed stuff. This is my one gripe with the mode PCB is that this right Let's 
7U stabilizer sits right on top of the uh, hot swap socket, so it's a little bit difficult going in. I have 29 bits left. Here you go. Just don't spam, spin them all at once. Hey, dude, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> My matcha lattes have a bit... Really? I, you know, I've been hearing the matcha lattes having leaf issues now. Are matcha lattes... Who, who man used them? Is that JWK? 65 it is. We'll do the 65 giveaway. And I'll, I'll keep the 60 for myself because... 60s are kind of lit. Oh, was it? I'm surprised, man. If Angel was a worm, would you still love him? Of, of course. Absolutely. Pear, thank you so much for the one bit. I appreciate you. You know I would still love Angel if he was a worm. That'd be kind of effed up of me if I didn't. All right, let's do this. If you were a switch, would you be linear, tactile, or clicky? <laughs> I don't know. Linear, probably. I would love Angel for to stop showing me his... Oh my gosh, Toasty. Are you going to use plate foam? Uh, I'm not too sure yet. We'll see. Probably, because I like this keyboard of plate foam, but... It's not a, a huge, drastic difference I find with the mode. It just makes it feel more full. So I probably will put it in just because again, I like it with the plate foam. Um, I have basically full control over what's happening in this build. So the owner of the keyboard said I'm completely okay with it. I like my son at plate foam, haven't tried anything else. I've tried it with both and I slightly prefer it. It still sounds good. Like there's no, like any sort of vibration or anything like that with, uh, not vibration rather, but uh, you know, empty sound without it. But I don't know, I kind of like it with. My favorite tactile switch. <sighs> I don't use tactiles all, all that often, guys. I really don't. These felt better than cloth for desk noise. Nah, it's the same. At least I, I haven't noticed a difference. Pretty soon you'll have a sonnet for every day of the week. That's my goal. MX Browns. They, you know what? They're actually not bad when you break them in. They're actually pretty good. I'd be linear because I'm straight up just want to win your heart. Okay, Tony. Butter Browns? Doesn't Tim really like Butter butter Browns? I haven't yet to try them. Tim keeps saying they're really good, but I haven't tried them yet. Frustration. Hi, Thank Alex. you for the five months, dude. I appreciate you. How are you doing? Uh, part of me wants to go with blueberry chiffons, but the long pull uh, and the recent leaf ping issues has been a turn off. If you want something that I tried yesterday that I thought was pretty good, uh, that's similar to to that, but again, I think they are considered a long pole. You might like the uh, snow switches I tried yesterday. I will say, even though I haven't used them in a build yet, the mode tomorrow switches are still probably a really good choice for you. Midterms? Yeah, the S2 snows is what I used yesterday. Midterms. That sounds scary. Are cotton candies long poles? I don't think they are. Dude, it's been a while since I used those switches though. I have I can't remember if they're any good or not. It has been a while since I've used those. MX Browns have a satisfying tactile bump and a nice deep thocky sound, if you know what I mean. I still don't mind them. I mean, they were one of my favorite switches for a long time. I never really got on that whole joke that MX Browns are trash. Yeah, sure, they're really light tactile switches, but I feel like that's kind of the vibe right now with most people who are into tactiles. Everyone's kind of after like a light tactile switch. Who knows? Maybe you should just go with MX Browns and then just call it a day. You know, just call it a day from there and that's it. MX Browns, baby. I think the bump is almost not there. It's slightly there, not really, but kind of not really. I have a deep appreciation for some natural scratch. I have been Loving that in Switches lately, dude. Loving it in Switches. It just, it gives it a lot of character. And okay, this sounds stupid, but it kind of gives it a bit of warmth to the Switch as well. An angle TKL on stream. I did, I built um, the new iteration. The original one was kind of poopy. I'm not gonna lie. 
I didn't like the original one, but their new updated iteration of the angle was actually pretty good. Browns are the gateways to linears. <laughs> Never heard anyone put it that way. Uh, now the warmth you feel is the chat's vibes leaking into the board. Yo, you guys are too nice, man. No, I don't think so. Here, here's how I'm gonna put it. When it comes to the cherry switches, when it comes to cherry switches, okay? I personally think the Nixie switches, they have like a, a nicer, bassier sound and they're not as, they still have scratch, but they're not as scratchy or thin sounding than something like Hyperglides or OP Blacks. I really do think the Nixies are like the fuller version, if that makes any sense at all, of the switches. So, Hot Dog, honestly, they say they're not factory lubed, but they have lube on them. They have lube on the bottom of the spring. So the stem isn't factory lubed, but there still is lube on them. Uh, Midden, thank you so much for the prime. Am I saying that right, by the way? Uh, Medan, am I saying that right? Serious talk cam, not as scratchy. Check fuller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're 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 nice. That's accidental machine grease. Wait, really, Toasty? Are you being serious right now? I think Toasty's trolling me. Toasty, in the immortal words of Lil Stacks, is joking my ass. How do you fix the current Rev3 TX tabs? You can replace the wire, unfortunately. Uh, but if you don't have access to another wire, I just found stab pads helped or Loving some extra lube. Sonnet, thanks to you. Hey, dude. Got my pump plate coming soon. Hopefully, I can get a little more flex in top mount. Hell yeah, dude. I'm excited for you. It's a it's a beautiful keyboard. I love this on it. Um, how the fuck would you troll you, Alex? You're not Tim. Wait, what happened? Toasty? He just did. I don't trust Toasty anymore. He's in the same level as Tim and Angel now of trust. Um, <laughs> nice key, man. Uh, nice keys, man. Gr uh, greetings from Brazil. Hey, thanks, dude. I appreciate you being here, man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, wait, what's wrong with the TX tabs? I have five boxes. Okay, okay, listen, listen. I don't mean to alarm anybody, okay? The more recent batches of TX tabs, the Rev3, I thought as well that there was nothing wrong with them because I thought I had some of the new boxes. I tried some of the new ones. I actually ordered, I physically ordered new stuff because you guys kept telling me there is a difference. I ordered new stuff, got it in. I don't know how to describe what's going on. I'm not sure if it's a stab issue. I have no idea how to describe it. They just have this like loud crashing noise. And it's it's like, see when I click this tab, it's nice. It's like a, a, um, a nice bassy sound. The TX ones have like this loud like thud, like this plastic hitting plastic. And I'm not sure what the hell it is. Stab pads seem to help it a little bit. Some people say it's the wires, but I'm still not understanding why the wires are causing that sound. So I have no idea. Um, some extra lube helps, but uh, it's like this weird, loud crashing noise. Uh, it's, it's really strange. I don't really know how to describe it, to be honest. That sounds awful. Yeah, I, I hate dealing with them, to be honest. Not my favorite thing in the world. Okay, let's use mid phone. I think the wire is maybe too long. They could, maybe that's the reason. I have no idea. Ever had an instance where your stab ticks when you add a long pole? Um, you know, I've never had that happen to me, but some people say they have. I've yet to feel that happen at all. Oh, actually, before we get too deep into this build, let's do this. They put stickers on top of these things. Uh, I've been witnessing that lately. Like, oh, this is why long pull stabs are a thing now. Dude, I, I don't, I've never had an issue with long pull switches and stabilizers. Has anyone here ever had that issue? I've never had to go out of my way to buy a long pull stab. So I'm, I'm still kind of like confused as to like what the issue is exactly. 
I use cherry clippins on uh, Gator on V2s. I use Wildcat's method to lube it and is never it's a dummy wonders. Yeah. If you have your, if you have your uh, your way of doing it, keep to it. Wait. Is that why my new TX tabs sound so different than my Duric ones? If you have new Rev3 ones, yeah, it probably sounds a bit different due to some weird like I don't know what to call it. So nice. Thank Alex you. Punk. Dude, prop uh dude, proper. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the five months, dude. Never had that crashing issue with those stabs, but what I experienced is the stems in the housing have this tactile feedback. Interesting. Okay, that I have not experienced myself. That's pretty interesting though. I don't know, man. It, honestly, guys, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, the best stabs, okay. This is, this is me telling you guys like what of all the stabilizers I've ever used, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I would say the most consistent sounding stabs that don't need a lot of work and aren't that bad in terms of availability and money and stuff, Duroc. Stabies are really easy to mod, but there is some issues with pl plastic binding with stabies. Listen, cherry stabs and Duroc stuff, I've never had problems with, never in my entire life. So if, I know stabies are nice, I like stabies too. I like the TX stabs to a certain degree as well. In my opinion, there's no real big difference in terms of like sound or feel when it comes to these new stabilizers. Just order the stuff that works, man. Order the stuff that's guaranteed to work so you don't run into this issue for like this minor increase in something that we're after. I have no idea what we're after with these new stabs, but just, I would just pick up the original stuff, man. Uh, that's it. If you clip-ins, again, get cherry. If you don't need clip-ins, just get the Duroc ones. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I don't know, Slurpless. Twitch been a little bit slow lately. Pink Robins. I don't like my hair today, guys. I need, dude, I need a haircut so bad. I think that's what I might do tomorrow. You know what? Maybe I'll get a haircut tomorrow. It's getting a little long too long the sides of old dude it's crazy how fast the signs the sides grow out too haircut stream <laughs> a real life stream for haircuts alex do you think the keyboard space will continue to improve in the future and will continue to have such drastic innovation every year yes Yes, but it's not gonna be as drastic as you'd think. I think there's gonna be a lot of like room for creative space and minor innovation, but I think the super drastic stuff is not gonna happen unless there's a need for it to happen, right? Does that make sense? Right now there's no need for drastic improvement because keyboards function the way keyboards are intended to, to work. There's no like new tech, you know what I mean? Um, where I think maybe we'll see some changes is stuff like wooding, like personally, I don't love, I don't, ha I don't have a need for these type of switches, but like what wooding did with their switches and PCB and the, you know, adjustable actuation with those optical switches or whatever, are they optical? Um, the hall effect switches, um, that's probably the thing you might see more of maybe some different sizes of that, or maybe some people taking advantage of stuff like that but I don't think you're gonna see like major, major humongous changes. Uh, I mean, someone mentioned Final Mouse, Fusion just men mentioned uh, Final Mouse, but I, let's be, let's keep it a buck 50 here. I mean, like that's not really game changing, you know? Like that's not changing the way you type. It's, it's just a visual thing. Uh, it's not, I wouldn't consider that a major innovation. Per personally, it's it's an LED screen underneath some keyboards. I would actually consider that to be a little bit limiting in a way too, because you're limited hey, to oh, using clear keycaps. Hope everyone is having a great night. Jason, thank you so much for the tier one, bro. I appreciate your two months of being here. Thank you, dude. I do think it's really cool though, what they did. 
I just don't think it's like that big of a deal when it comes to the performance of your keyboard. I think we're gonna see a lot of this though in the future, quality of life changes. As we've already been seeing, there's been so many quality, small quality of life changes in the hobby. And I think that's what we're gonna continue to see. Just small quality of life changes, that's all. I think one day uh, we will see people trying new things with MX housings, for example. I think we might see people replicating the Topper feel. Yeah, we could probably get something like that. Yeah, I think, I think Liam hit it right on the head there, which is this will be the year of refinement for, for keyboards, I feel. I think this, my prediction for this year, it's gonna be slow in terms of new things. Maybe even for some keyboard vendors, it might be a little bit slow. But I think this year here, we're gonna see a lot of refinement. I think we're gonna be seeing a lot more accessibility, even more, more than we have now, uh, just due to the way that the keyboard market's changing. But I don't think we're gonna see like crazy new innovations. Cream plus switches with inserts is a cool thought. It's, it's definitely thoughtful, it's definitely innovative. Um, but I would, I would even say if I'm being super critical, that probably has its drawbacks in terms of like uses as well. Like how often are you gonna be really doing that? Slash, would you really disassemble your keyboard just swap something out? Or would you buy more switches? I think it's cool as you start building a keyboard though. Thank you, Elkwan. I appreciate the two tier ones. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you, thank you. I think we're gonna see more different mounting styles of keyboards. We'll see, we'll see what exactly happens. Thank you guys, I really do appreciate it. Bring Alps back. Yeah, maybe we'll see Alps. So if this was uh, answered earlier, but does anyone know what kind of mount the Sonnet will be? This Sonnet? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do for today. Thank you again, Alquan, I appreciate that, dude. I'd like to see switches move away from the MX format eventually. Maybe, who knows? I don't know what exactly is gonna happen with switches. What's my favorite mounting style? I'm still a big fan of O-ring, man. O-ring, friction fit, stuff like that. I think it's great. I just realized the issue with my ticking, it wasn't the stab, it was the switch uh, top in the space bar being slightly damaged. Oh, that can do it as well, yeah. I would love to see more Bluetooth. What would you guys like to see at a keyboards this year? I think Bluetooth is not a bad ask. I, I definitely would like to see some of that too. Maybe some, uh, some different options. I feel like there's never a lot of options for Bluetooth keyboards. Um, I'm using TX tabs right now and have the, and have the issue only with my space bar. Yep, same thing with me, uh, do. Whenever I use the TX tabs, the new ones, it's only really the space bar that you can really feel. I'll take a look at the sound test afterwards. See, GeoRen is, Geo is, he's against Bluetooth because he has skin in the game uh, for the anti-Bluetooth market. <laughs> he has skin in the game as why you would, he, he is on, uh, <laughs> he's 100% joking. <laughs> Thank you, Fuzz. I appreciate it, dude. One year -E less school. Thanks for always being so oh, cool man. to hang with Alex. Thank you, Fuzzin dude. I appreciate it. Alex Zokpog, Alex Zokpog. Dude, Fuzzinator, I hope you're doing well, man. Fuzz, are you gonna come to another, uh, are you gonna go to a meetup soon? What's the next meetup you're gonna go to? Uh, it's kind of weird how pre-builds all have five different wireless options. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I want to see more. I want to see more Bluetooth, though. Okay, this switch has a really badly bent leg. I have a question. Would you guys want to see more um, modularity options when it comes to keyboards? I don't mean ex different customizability of a keyboard. Would you guys want to see like a keyboard that you don't need to actually disassemble, but imagine it having some sort of slot that you can take out to do something? I don't know, I, I, dude, I've been asking for something like that for quite some time where I don't have to sit there, unscrew it all, 
something a bit more modular, you know? I've been, I've been wanting that for some time now. But it seems like we're kind of stuck in this, I don't know, rut of, you buy your customizability, you assemble it and you're done. Might feel unfinished always. But I feel like that's kind of the, the ultimate goal with, with keyboards is you're always kind of feeling like it's unfinished, you know? Brock, thank you so much for the Prime. I appreciate using your Prime here, dude. I do that with my Play-Doh. So you're asking for plate-mounted stabs? No, we don't have to do plate-mounted. Also, I've heard some pretty good plate-mounted stabs. No hate on plate-mounted stabs. Uh, what's my thought on The Last of Us show? I have not seen it. I'm, I'm still trying to get through the last few episodes of The Walking Dead that I have. I'm in uh, the middle of the last season of Walking Dead. I'm very intrigued as to where they took this show. Uh, but I've not seen it yet. I want to watch it though, probably this weekend. Modular keyboards, I've been working on that for six months now. Hard to do, making progress to some CAD models, but it's hard to find an idea that works. Dude, I would, if someone can actually make that work, like work, I think there's such a market for like that kind of stuff, man. I get to see them in the same room together. Wait, who? Fresh haircut? Does it look like I got a haircut? All I did was gel it back today, which I don't know if I love this look with the sides being so grown out. Like even this is kind of like long, but uh, I need a haircut now. I need an actual haircut. Haircuts low key kind of expensive these days though. Even the cheaper haircuts are kind of expensive. Is there a deadline to order a sonnet? No, it's actually all in stock now, I think. But once they're out, they're out. They're not making more. I don't think they are anyways. So I don't know if that hurries you along, but speaking of which, my barber uh, told me he likes hair advice you give me. Oh, really? Hell yeah, dude, that's huge. <laughs> That's awesome. That makes me feel good too. I love how the Corsair closes, uh, the Corsair closes something simple like that makes, oh yes, I, I would say the assembly on the Corsair is insane. It's so good. That To me, that's definitely innovative, but I don't think that got the attention it deserved. If I'm being 100 with you, I feel like that deserved more attention, but it didn't get it. They want more mustache? Do you guys, do you guys even remember when I had the really long mustache? It's kind of annoying. He's like, nah, wetting and drying your hair without shampoo in the shower is totally normal. Yep, that's what, I mean, that's what I did for today. It's um, too much shampoo, I find. Like if you're just shampooing it every time you want to restyle it, it dries it out. And I my hair is like not always going to be easy to manage. So I find like if I wash it and then the next day just like wet it and then dry it again, it's way easier. You definitely look younger now with the... Uh, then with the long mustache? Yeah. I agree with that too. Okay, I don't like that switch the way it's sitting, but. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna remove that switch. I don't like the way this is sitting. Switch puller, switch puller. Here we are. Uh, hydrate, give me one sec. I guess I'd ask, if you want modular, what would you want to be modular about it? I know this sounds super broad because I don't really have a great answer on how it would work, but maybe some sort of like system uh, or tray that you can like pull in and out that would affect your sound profile, but maybe for example, again, I am making something up. Please don't take this for like, Alex, you're fucking stupid or something. I don't know, like imagine a piece of silicone that you can pull in and out without having to change the case and then if you want to swap the silicone out, you can make it maybe with wood or some other material that will drastically change your sound signature. Imagine it's something like that. The thing is like, how would you lock it in place? I feel like that's a big task. <clears throat> mm, pinch side mounts be interesting. Maybe even that catch ball system that they uh, used in the Corsa would be kind of cool too, right? Wait, Alex wants to pull out, huh? Aki, bro. 
Uh, that's what my thought uh, thoughts were. I've been working on a sliding key. Yeah, I mean, that would be really cool. I would love to see that. No, I'm an hour late. I don't know why Twitch. Do you guys want me to post when I go live on Instagram again? I kind of stopped doing it because I don't know, I just did, but do you guys want that again? Should I start doing an Insta, Insta again? Uh, Unicorn Bakaneko is touching modular waters. Kinda, it def I definitely understand what you're saying there. It definitely is touching some modularity aspects. Ooh, this sounds nice. Something's rattling on my desk and it's driving me nuts. I don't know what it is, but something is. Um, mag cake. The problem with magnetic stuff is I've tried some magnetic keyboards and sometimes the magnets don't close exactly right. So you end up with like, and you always run the risk of like picking something up with a magnet and something falling out. To me, magnets are not an end solution that I'd like in a keyboard. Not to fix things in place anyways. I don't think magnets are like the be all and end all of things. Um, what's the config? Today is the carbon fiber plate, pink robin switches, some plate foam, and we're using a hot swap PCB. Full copper bottom, even a copper insert. Let's put these here for now. So pretty nice. Hey Alex, thank happy you. Happy Chinese New Year. Dude, happy Chinese New Year to you as well. Thank you guys for being here and thank you again, Chu. I appreciate you. We're not doing stack, but we do need to take some of this out. This I'll need to tune up the stabs. Uh, okay, this is good. We got everything we need out of this. Thank you guys for your subs and your primes. I really do appreciate it. Lunar New Year's, Lunar New Year's. Gotta go see you around. Alex, do you have Riz? I only learned what that was like two months ago, so probably not. No PE foams? Yeah, no PE foam. No PE foam at all. I just saw the setup channel on Discord and man, people have some crazy setups. Bro, it's actually insane what people have. Don't lie, bro, I don't have any Riz. Where'd it go? Did it fall somewhere? Dude, I feel like Toasty, even though Toasty's young, thank you, I really appreciate that, Insty. Next time he says that stuff, can you just ban him? I feel like Toasty's like actually, he's, um, he's not even so old, but he acts like he is. Thank you so much, Marius, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the uh, tier one. Toasty really gonna ask me if I have a Ligma? Like, what year is it, bro? Guy lives in the past. <laughs> Easy clap. To toasty uh, rocking crazy grandpa vibes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rip Toasty. <laughs> Thank you, Marius. I appreciate the tier one though, man. I really do. RIP that boomer, bro. Uh, my GF said she wanted Riz last week and I didn't know what that was. So I got some soda at the store and she laughed in my face. <laughs> How do you, okay, dude, I don't, I'm at the risk of sounding like Toasty. How do you give someone Riz? <laughs> Sounds like a fucking STD or something like that. <laughs> Sounds weird, bro. I don't know, man. My grandma is visiting me and she brought chocolate cream pie. I can't ever say that I've ever had that. You know what actually is good? Banana cream pie. That stuff is so fucking good. You know what else is really good? Lemon meringue. I have to admit I'm a sucker for lemon meringue, bro. 
Key lime's pretty good too, but I like lemon meringue, dude. It's so good. So good, man. Key lime is goat. Are you guys key lime or lemon meringue? Dude, lemon is so good, man. Lemon desserts go hard. I do agree with that. They do kind of go hard. Are you guys cheesecake people? Uh, you can only bring uh, them during Lunar New Year's. They're so good. Which one's Slurpless? Which ones? Something about banana flavored milk. You know, I've never had that, but I want to try it. I do want to try it. Mooncakes? Oh, mooncakes. I've never had those either. Uh, what's next on this? We gotta take this apart. Caramel apple? That sounds yummy. Joke's on you, I'm already eating. I don't want food now. Maybe I'll make a late night run to grab some, some food and watch the rest of my Walking Dead. Fuck, dude, this copper bottom is sexy. Look at this. This is, like, I, I, it's hard to convey the texture of this as well, but it just looks beautiful. Yeah, it's so nice. They killed it with this. <laughs> Gas station cake? Late night gas station run is kind of litty though. Um, where did I put the, oh, they're right here. I do gotta agree, the coloring on the Sonnet feels so nice. Yeah, they, they're killing it with things, man. I have to admit, they are absolutely killing it. So this just goes like this. With, well, obviously you take this out, but. Okay, that is looking sweet. I don't know if this appears to be too saturated on the screen here, but oh, look at that, that is so nice. That is so cool. Uh, actually, we'll sleep in there. We can still get this in. It's too heavy. I don't want. I don't want to hurt my fingies at all. Me too. I'm actually excited. I should be getting the envoy soon. By the way, guys, soon is keyword. I'm not sure when, but uh, soon. Late night drives uh, along rural roads. Mm. Too many screws fell out at once. Man, I wish I was a fan of the Ephra because every sauna I've seen is just beautiful. Wait, why don't you like it? Honestly, like if it's something to do with the way that the Ephra looks, then I totally understand. But it's the same, it's technically like almost the same width as the 65. Now that you've done this for quite a minute, which part of the keyboard process do you not look forward to the most? Shipping them back to clients. Hate that part, bro. Hate that part. Just want to keep them. I'm <laughs> really starting to appreciate companies like Mode and Gion keeping replacement parts in stock. Dude, it is definitely nice to have that. Uh, on a real note though, worst part is, I hate, this sounds stupid, I hate testing PCBs. Hate it, I don't know why. Bo it's boring to me. It's, I, it only takes like five minutes, but I, I honestly like, this is why it's like a requirement in my build process to have people test it beforehand. I always double check it because I'm anal about those things, but yeah, I hate that part. I don't know why. Got the gray sonnet with multicolor accent. Ooh, think uh, GMK Halley would work? Yeah, I think so, why not? Honestly, that goes with everything. That, that whole color combo goes with just about everything. Is it these two screws for this? I think so, right? I test like five keys in a PCB. <laughs> Dude, I, I sometimes do that. I'll give it a quick scan, but I've gotten to the point now where if there is a diode missing, I could just I have like a whole parts box of old PCBs. I'll just take a diode off of something else and put it on the other one. Happened recently where we had to just replace a diode and I just took it off of one keyboard, put it on the other. I 
I just said screw it. All right. Is that a copper bottom? It is. It's a copper bottom with a, oh my God, this weighs so much. So nice. Effort, thank you so much for the prime. I really do appreciate that, dude. Damn, bro. All right, let's put this guy in now, our copper accent. Is there a little film on this? No, it's not, okay. So this is the brushed copper accent. I just run it through x-ray and simulation software to test it for me. I don't know what that means, Toasty, to be honest with you. I'm assuming it's some fancy software that I don't have access to. God, this is so heavy. What's my favorite part about building a keyboard? Screwing in the last screw. Not even capping with you guys. When you put in that final screw in a build and flip it over, it's, I don't know why, it's so satisfying. Uh, the giveaway's gonna happen, yeah. I should probably run it right now. The giveaway will happen. Just be patient. We got it. Is it these small ones? No, it's not the small ones. It's these long ones here. I do wish, the only wish I had for the mode stuff is, I don't even know what screw it is here. I think it is the short ones, but. Give me a sec to put this in. Hmm. Uh, or a fog switch is so hot. Yeah, they're pretty good. Why is this screwing in? Hello? Were those four screws that I put into the PCB one? Oh my gosh. I think so. No. Uh, you have to use the long screws? Is it the long ones? It's crazy. It's been six months. Your streams and VODs always make my day whenever I get to watch them. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much, Patty. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, uh... I was, I really look forward to streams every single week. Dude, I actually could not remember which screws they were. Why did I think they were the short screws? That makes way more sense. I built so many sonnets and forgot that one part. Um, but thank you guys. GMK Honor Direct looking too good on the green. I, I think it's, an actu it's actually such a sick combination of things. It is so nice. Ooh. Oh. Uh, I mean, it's for the price, dude. I have not tried a better precision kit. I think this is fantastic. Uh, like I said, if I can find a better precision kit at the availability, like the, the price point, just the quality of this, I think it's fine. Honestly, I think it's good. I would not ask for anything else. Okay, we're gonna try top mount with this. So I feel like top mount's the move for this sonnet. Iso top. What's going on? Why aren't you going in nice? <clears throat> you know, GMK Firefly would look dope. It might look dope. It probably would look cool. But tonight we're using industrial keys. My copper accent doesn't fit on my top plate without scratching it. Really? That's annoying. So nice. Sonics Bruno. Again today. Let's go. Thank you, man. I appreciate the sub. No, it's not this. Isn't this? No, it's not this screw. It's this screw. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. And Hydro, thank you so much for your prime. Drink more water. I think I have like four drinks to catch up on. Let me do that right now. Drink more water. <sighs> Hi Conan, how are you doing today, dude? How are you? No, no, no plate war today. Nothing like that. 
That is, uh, actually, you know what we're gonna do though? Okay, so here's the rules, all right? Everyone, listen up. Is everyone listening? Can everyone confirm they're listening for anyone interested in the giveaway? No copper plate? I don't think they make a copper plate. Actually, I don't know if I'd use a copper plate. Everyone listening in chat? Okay, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna do a giveaway for either a Tofu, well, I think we decided the Tofu 65, all right? Let's do, uh, I wish I just had like a simple like giveaway thingy custom. Here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna have, we're gonna have 15 minutes to join. Actually, we'll do 20 minutes to join. We'll do Tofu 65 V2. Tofu 65 V2. All right, the winner is gonna get, they get, the, get the keyboard. I'm gonna send it to them with switches. I haven't decided what switches yet. All right, they sent me a 60 and a 65 over to take a look at for the V2s. The winner will get it. I don't know what color you're gonna get because I don't remember the colors they sent me. It's either, I think it's a green or a lavender like, or a beige or something, I don't remember. Um, I don't know what switches yet, but it'll be something cool, promise. But I do ask that the, if you win, you just give me some time to build the keyboard because I'm gonna build it on stream and I don't know when I'm gonna do that yet. So let's run the giveaway right now. You can go ahead and enter with exclamation point raffle. But this is just me. I don't have to do this. They didn't ask me to do this. This is just me thanking you guys for being in stream all the time with me, as usual. I love you guys. Thank you guys all for, for being here. Um, and I like doing this stuff with you guys because I like you guys getting keyboards. Thank you, thank you guys for all being here. <clears throat> all right, let's screw in the last few screws we got here. And this is also a previous prize winner for something that we did. Nice little mode sonnet. And then we'll just draw it right when we finish stream. So once it ends, we'll draw it afterwards. Oh, dude, I am not looking forward. to the end of Walking Dead. I feel like I'm slightly enjoying the show too much and I wish it never ends, but it does end. If we, if we, if I win, can you kiss it? Of course. <laughs> of course I can. Why not? All right, we're done this. This is all good now, guys. Let's plug this bad boy in. I feel, off, I fell off the train with The Walking Dead, unfortunately. Me too, I did as well. After uh, season seven, I just stopped. After watching it like religiously week after week with one of my friends, me and him were so into it. And then I just stopped. Oh God, this is so heavy, dude. <laughs> Hot damn. This boy big. Was it, was it these screws? No, these weren't it. Where are the uh, screws I need for this? These were it? Yeah, these were it. Oh yeah, these were it, my bad. Did you screw in all five for top mount or only the three? No, I used all five. It might've looked like I did three just cause I stopped after I did two, but yeah, we used all of them. Actually looks really nice with the pink switches. Uh, do you still, do they still have interesting storytelling? Okay, there was one episode. I'm not gonna spoil it because I, I, I don't even remember what episode it was, but it was so fucking freaky. It had to be the scariest episode I've seen of The Walking Dead, but they, they've had some like truly memorable episodes past season seven. I real I've been, there's, there's certain ones that I'm like, wow. Um, but, uh, I don't know, man. It's, it's good. I like it. No, I don't think so, Grizzy. Believe it or not, maybe a hot take. Um, I, I would say it's not spoilers because it's kind of an old season now, but I kind of think 
Rick is kind of a boring character. He's cool, but he's boring. He's predictable. I mean, he kind of is. And he's bossy? Yeah, Coral, yeah. You guys will, if you guys watch it, watch it. I'm not confirming or denying because something happens. So just watch it. Just watch the show if you guys have not. It's actually, after season seven, I feel like it's, it, it was already, to me, I think the only bad season was when they were at the farm. I hated that season. Um, but uh, it, ah, man, it's really good. The whole love story between him and Michonne was so just no thanks. I mean, like, I don't mind that. I did feel like it was kind of weird just because, like, you know, okay, you know why I feel it feels weird? It's because the time doesn't seem like it passes correctly in The Walking Dead. Like, I think I would have liked it if it felt like years went past, but it kind of just felt like one minute he's with his wife and then the next minute he's with Michonne. So it's just kind of weird, but... Time passes weird. I think they kind of corrected that in the later seasons where it feels like time passes properly. My favorite zombie movie? I don't think I have one, to be honest. I don't think I've had one. All right, let's put some keycaps on this guy. We're going to use industrial keys from Novel Keys. Ducks and Ducks, I appreciate the Prime. Thank you very much. Train to Busan? Oh, I need to watch that again. That was actually really good. I don't know if that's my favorite, but it was really good. Um, Shaun of the Dead. World War Z, I would say was okay. Wasn't my favorite either. Zombieland? Zombieland was fun. Oh, this is a cool box. I love this orange, man. This orange is sweet. Uh, Novel Keys is killing it with their keycap boxes. They're so nice. I, I really like this box. I'm, I'm a sucker for this color profile. Let's see how it looks in real life. Oh, I like this. This is actually really nice. I wanna see those accent keys. Oh, I like this a lot. Yeah, I like this a lot actually. Okay. I do think I'm gonna use this color shift. I'm gonna take some photos of this after I'm done. I'd love for industrial caps to have sub legends. I'm kinda, you know, I kinda don't mind sub legends, but I feel like this works really well without them. I'll do the stab tuning afterwards. I feel like this works really well without it. And I also like the fact that it didn't give me a super bright orange enter key. Cause I kind of like the way that it's all aligned here for those highlights. Maybe we will use the orange, but let's see what we got here. Matches the Loctite lube. <laughs> this is nice actually. I really like the color of this. I feel like this set would be nice with uh, red Cyrillic. Could, potentially. Um, paid, I should be able to do delete for this key. Let's grab these while we're here. Page up and page down. And we'll grab function as well. When are we doing the giveaway? Um, in a bit. I do want to use these accent keys as well. I really like all the accents on this. This is a sweet looking set. Hello, Mr. Toes. Nine Nine Go Go. How are you doing? I have a celebrity in my chat right now. Isn't that crazy, guys? A celeb. Sporky, thank you so much for the tier one. Hello, Alex. Thank Hope you. I appreciate you have a good it. Happy Friday and Happy Lunar New Year. Happy Lunar New Year to you as well. Um, have you tried the new NK Cream Pluses? I have. They're really. I really like them. I think titanium is the weakest insert, but I think copper is outstanding. It's such a unique um, sound profile. Not the celeb, please, you are. But thank you again, Sporky. I appreciate the uh, tier one, dude, for four months, man. Um, Lydia's massive celeb. Hi, Alex. I agree. Oh, I love Fred. my Fred. 
Fred, I love you, dude. Thank you so much for being here. Waffle wants a compliment. <laughs> Listen, Nine Nine Gogo might be the celebrity here. Oh wait, wrong button. But you're the person who has my heart, so you know what I mean, Waffle. Waffle, I hope you're having a good day today. I love you, dude. I hope uh, the weekend's going gonna go well for you, and I hope whatever plans or aspirations you have happen. Love you, dude. Uh, is this the usual stream time? Yeah, I would say so. Is it? I feel like today's stream is gonna be a, maybe a little shorter than normal because it's hot swap, but yeah, normal stream time, I think. But you know what I like though? I like that they used orange accents in some of the keys. No? Isn't that nice? Thank you, uh... <laughs> Muscle man, thank you so much for the 100 bits, dude. Super Switch, thank you so much for your Prime. I appreciate that. Yeah, these caps look so good on this. Dude, this is such a good choice for this. This is super sweet. Hi, Stash man. Hi, Super Switch. How are you? I hope things are well. Are these PBT? They are. This might be one of my favorite sets that Novel Keys has put out, to be honest. I, I, I love this color scheme. I've been wanting orange and like a stone color. I think I've told you guys, I've been wanting orange and stone, something like this, for so long now. So this is my ideal color scheme right here. How did your stash used to be long? I wish I could grow one. I don't I don't like it as, dude, when I look back on how long I had it, I, I kind of just kept the same length I had for charity and then I just, kept it for years. I don't, I don't know, man. It's kind of, it was kind of too much. Uh, after mentioning orange and orange keeps on stream, I, I now have been awakened to the idea. It's a super nice color scheme. I simp for beep keycaps. He never misses. It's actually kind of true. He doesn't. The NR1 cuisine? Dry noodles with the flavoring. Dry noodles? That sounds hella crunchy. Might just be me, but I think the light colors match better than the dark accents. Do you mean I should use the orange instead of... Should I should I swap out the arrow keys to the light? Was there light arrow keys? Actually, I don't think there was. Oh no, there is. Should I swap it to light or should I use the dark? I'll let you guys pick that. This is looking good. I have the same sonnet with PBT Soya. You got copper and uh... Actually, I want to see how this would look. Hmm. I don't know why I'm kind of into that. No? Hear me out, let me put it on and then we'll, we can take it off afterwards. Hear me out. Hear me out. Uh, it's just a size difference. And then Bruno, what happens is the bottom row adjusts accordingly as well. I like it. Me too, a little bit. Flinty, I'm kind of into it, man. Come on. It pops? It does pop, right? Dude, this is gonna sound sweet. Is there any sound difference? A small part of me wants to say no, but a small part of me knows there is a little bit of a sound difference. It's not too much though. I really don't think it's all that much of a sound difference. Alex, hear me out. Full bright orange accents, but on the green sonnet. Oh, that would be cool on the green sonnet actually. So do you mean put the orange? Wait, I want to see something. You mean like, like that? With GMK Honor? Actually, that might look really cool. Ah, nah, it doesn't look that great. Blue is perfect. It is kind of cool though. I like the, I like the color there. I don't think it goes really well with the wooden accent though. The whole set? A burnt fall orange, yeah, orange. I think a burnt orange would look really nice as an accent to uh, Team Kit Honor. I do agree. 
This actually has some flex to it, it's kind of nice. Oh, come on. Dude, this actually might be one of my favorite sets from NK. I really, really like this. Actually, let's see, what is this gonna look like? Should I do both orange or should I take off the orange? I like the fact that the orange is on the shift though, it's kind of different. Still salty, Honor doesn't offer 6U spacebar. Honor also doesn't even have, did Honor ever have a numpad kit? I don't think it did, right? Honor is just a weird kind of, you have to like have a use case for it. I hear that space bar, mine sounds like plastic, shake my head. Uh, green wood earth tones and, and bright ass orange, full on lumberjack spec. <laughs> okay, let's not use the orange accents then, let's take this off. Cause I do agree, maybe we should not use the dark blue. Um, I think it's one or the other, let's actually use this guy here. This giveaway is my time to shine. Tofu enthusiasts. <laughs> you better win this. You absolutely better win this, dude. Have you ever done a setup tour before? Kinda on an Instagram reel, but no, I have not. I need to though, I definitely need to. Oh, this is a nice looking keycap set for this. Dude, I am so happy with this color scheme combo. This looks sweet. Mm -hmm. Industrial keys. Uh, this is industrial keys from NK. It's their, one of their new sets. Sage, I think Sage is technically newer. Dude. Dude, look at this. That looks so good with this keycap set. A little side profile, copper. This is kind of this is kind of really heavy. That looks really nice. Oh dude, I I might have to order the copper bottom. Double sonnet. PBT atmosphere would look really cool too, for sure. All right. Shall we see what this sounds like? Can we get a drop test? I don't know about that. Uh, this is a price, it's technically like a client build. We'll just call it a client build. All right. Carbon fiber plate, pink robin switches. We're using PBT keycaps. Um, Copper bottom, copper accent, copper internal weight for this as well. Let's see what this sounds like. There is mid plate foam as well. I'll plug it in actually, I actually wanna type stuff. Let's see, let's see. Ooh. I need a little bit more lube on the right side. Nine, nine, thank you so much for the five tier ones. Dude, that sounds so good.
Hmm. Damn. I might get the copper bottom for myself. That sounds way, like, just, it sounds so full, man. I really like that. And the keycap sets industrial keys from Novel Keys. Dude. Ah, it's actually not purple. It's GMK Honor, also from Novel Keys. This is GMK Honor. Dude, this actually turned out. I'm glad we didn't put as, as much foam as we, we put just a, a right, right amount of foam. And the pink robins feel and sound amazing too. So Isaac, I do think the copper bottom is really contributing to like a really, kind of like a heavier, bassier sound profile. But just plate foam for this, this is the ISO top. I had a feeling this would work well with this because there's so much uh, density on the bottom of this. I, I had a feeling it might sound really, really good. Thoughts on carbon fiber plate? It, it definitely has like a bit of flex. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's it's kind of soft and ISO top mount with this. Pretty nice. Any tips on how to make your keyboard sound less muted? Less foam uh, is probably the best thing to, to do. If you really want to bring out some pop, you could use a tape mod. I think that's a, a decent way and attempt to kind of make it a little bit less muted sounding. So. I Dude, this might be... This is probably the best space bar on the sauna that I've made to date. Damn. I did put a little bit more lube on the Pink Robin um, springs. That was really about it. You want pop epsilons? That's what's in this one. And I actually don't love the epsilons. The epsilons do pop. It just has um, leaf rattle or leaf ping, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, it's so annoying. Paul gets got my S-Craft Artisans? Hell yeah, dude. All right, let's see who's gonna win this. I love my, which one did you get? I love my S-Craft Artisans, by the way. Tofu65, let's see who's gonna be the, the winner for this. All right, you guys ready? The winner of the Tofu65. Again, person who wins it, please let me build this on stream and finish building it, then I'll send it out. Winner is me no one. Congratulations. Can you type in chat? You have uh, you have exactly a minute and a half to type in chat. We'll just say until 8.38. If you don't type in chat or claim it, we'll, we'll go to the next person as we usually do. <clears throat> oh, I have my coffee mug here that has no coffee. Claim? Hell yeah, wow. All right, so um, do you mind messaging me on Twitch chat? We'll talk details. Damn, Hui Wackenboss felt like it just turned to an episode of The Godfather. The hair is on point. Oh, dude. Thank you, Rusty. I appreciate you, man. Dude, this turned out so nice. Okay. I actually think I might move this keycap set. Fuck. I feel like this keycap set would also look so nice on this. But I also really like the wood accent with GMK Honor. So I, ah, oh, man, I don't know. This is such a nice, I, I like the way this turned out. I'm very, very happy with it. I'm very, very happy. Uh, what would you rather send me, um, wait, what would you rather me send with the next commission? Studio Ghibli theme stuff or a pack of Asian snacks? I'm gonna leave it up to you, dude. I am totally open to both. <laughs> um, I wanna see my vision go through. Oh, putting the accents from here to here? It wouldn't look good with the wood accent? You don't think so? Normalize owning two sonnets. <laughs> Can you try GMK Dandy Cream Base on the top case? Um, I would have to go figure out which keyboard it's on, but not today if that's okay, just cause I don't, I don't really want to go scour around my keyboards tonight, but um, I can try to visualize it. The whole kit with orange accents on the green top or on the green sonnet. I mean, I do have to take this off anyway, so I might try it. Who knows? Isn't it on the unicorn? I think I took it off the unicorn. Not today, if that's okay. This guy is a post poet. Oh, <laughs> really digging the new NK set. Me too, dude. 
Uh, wonder if it'd be possible to make cap mounting plate based. What happened? Cap mounting plate based? Something you can pull off in one go and wait, make keycaps take seconds to pull off rather than a million years? Oh, interesting. I don't know if that would, mm, I feel like you might damage something in that case. You know what I mean, CD? I don't know how, actually, I don't know how that would work. Excited for the mode envoy? Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see how it's gonna sound and feel and stuff. The switches were pink robins. I, I'm more excited to see if it's gonna, how much is it gonna differ from the mode 65? That's what I'm more excited to see, you know? <laughs> Say less is Derek. Uh, but they were pink robins, if I didn't already answer that, do. They both look so different from each other. Yeah, they actually do. They actually really do. They're, they're very different looking keyboards, but they're both sonnets. Thoughts on the NK Cream Arcs for D... I, you know, I haven't actually tried the Cream Arcs, unfortunately. It's on my list. I have a set. I just haven't tried them. Mounting is way different from every uh, everything else Mode has made. It is, but I'm still, I'm still interested to see if it's going to have some of that, like same kind of sound signature. You know what I mean? I want to see how much it actually differs from the 65. Can you achieve deep sounds without foam? Um, yes, but I think I know what you're talking about. Like the deep sounds you probably see a lot on YouTube and stuff. And the answer is probably not, not as much as you would want. A lot of the times, dude, those people on like people on YouTube and stuff to like, achieve those really deep sounds, they're just stuffing that stuff with like foams, um, PE films, uh, kill mats, stuff like that, and it just it really just makes the keyboard sound like very um, the same to everything that anyone can build. The green mode went uh, with their boards, so pleasing. Oh, gotta say, the green mode went with their board just so pleasing. Oh yeah, it's really nice. Damn, that's nice. Cool. All right though, guys. A little bit of a shorter stream tonight, but I hope today was fun for all of you guys. Um, I do appreciate everyone coming out and chilling with me. Could you please suggest a true dark purple keycap set? Ooh. There was one dark purple keycap set. I don't remember. Did Zambumon make one? I don't remember what it was called though. Hold on, let me see if I can find it what it was. No, it wasn't Serenity. Zambumon. I mean, it, I don't know how dark purple we mean for dark purple. Purple Knight, that's what it was called. Actually, this is not really dark purple. I mean, it kind of is. Jim K. Monarch? I don't, I don't know, actually. Is this considered dark purple? Sporky! Thank dude. you for the stream, Alex. <laughs> Thank you so much for the thousand bits, man. I appreciate that, dude. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the stream, man. We're going to be back at it Sunday again. So uh, in case you guys want another stream, Sunday is the day. Um, shorter stream today. I told you guys this week here was not stream as much and we ended up streaming the exact same amount. So it is what it is. What am I supposed to say? So it is, well, that's just me. Uh, what am, what am I supposed to say though? It is what it is. All right. Jim K. Amethyst. Well, let me look that one there up. I don't think Jim K. Amethyst was that dark, was it? Crab Hammer, thank you so much for the tier one, dude. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate that. All right, guys. Let's go raid Mr. Christopher Yi. I've been, I've been watching him uh, play uh, some Grand, Grand Theft Auto every now and then. Oh, that's not the raid button. Go say hi to Chris. You guys enjoy the rest of your nights. I, I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, we'll be doing more stuff on Sunday. Um, I think basically this weekend here is gonna be a bit of a chill weekend. So for, even for a stream, what are we doing on Sunday anyways? I think we're doing the CKW, that's what we're doing. And then next week we have some 
Uh, we have actually some really interesting stuff next week. I'll post the stream schedule probably Sunday for you guys for next week. All right. Is my diet still? Dude, I'm trying my best. No late night, nothing. You know what I mean? All right, guys. Take care. Uh, love you guys and see you guys on Sunday. Peace out, everybody. Goodbye.